Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. The reason why it's been taking me a little while to finish up this walkthrough is because I realized that there's a lot more poop of the scoop that I want to show around here, so... I don't think it's gonna work just being one part, so I think I'm gonna make two more parts. And to start out with, I'm gonna switch off to the racing outfit. Yeah! Alright. Now, why I came over to the Lake Kingdom was I was pointed out that I forgot to read the Lock Lady portion of the brochure down here. The lovely Lock Ladies. Lock Ladies are exceedingly flexible, but they also possess a deep strength. Many have become accomplished designers, and this balance may be their secrets. Dun 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 dun. And also, I never really showed being able to do this, didn't I? Yeah, well. Like, getting up there without the stairs, basically, is what I mean. <laughs> I started my initial jump a little bit on the early side. That should do just fine, unless I get Goombud. Yeah, it's actually pretty easy to get up there if you do the triple jump and half jump movements in Deedly Do. And now I'm also over here because of Koopa Free Running. Remember that starting boost? I was told how to do this, and... I'd also like to demonstrate that. Basically, you start by spinning your analog stick any direction you please. Then you do a jump, a ground pound, and then a roll in really rapid succession, like this. And that's how you get your boost. Now, you can do it a lot quicker than I did that, but basically, if you want to practice this, like I was doing, is just to do one thing at a time. Get the hang of the spinning, get the hang of the jump and ground pound, and then finally add the roll to it. So let's try it in an actual race. Shall we? Okay, we shall. And yes, yes, yes. And I'm also gonna try and maximize, or I should say minimize, my time by even doing the super shortcut past the stairs to boot. And I'm rotating the analog stick already. Oh, I didn't do it properly. <laughs> I swear I've got this before. See, I got actually a better best time because I was practicing it. There we go! Uh, well, I... Well, that might actually work. Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I was, it's a little bit of practice over here, and things are looking pretty nice overall in terms of the uh, practice sessions and whatnot. So I was like, okay, time to record now. I, I think I got things to be consistent enough, and I don't even need to use the fishy shortcut, I'm so far ahead of the Koopas. <laughs> Look at that, it's not, not even a Koopa in sight anywhere. <laughs> and I probably should do it a little bit fast. Oh, I didn't beat my best record, that's okay. Well, the world record is like you're doing that shortcut as smooth as possible, plus the starting blue boost, plus the fishy skip to get to the boss, you know, without having to take the long way around. <laughs> but yeah, it was just basically demonstration purposes more than anything here. <laughs> Alright, now also, since Luigi is hanging out over here, I should probably show some stuff with him as well. So let's go ahead and chat it up with him. Hello. Hey, I want to take the ba 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 Yes, I would like to. And got the balloons. I'm I'm I've maxed the coins. <laughs> now, the thing that I came here for was to view stats. So if you take a look at the stats, you can see what stars you still need to earn in order to max out to 50 stars and stuff like that. You can see what balloons you have active and the, the codes for each of those balloons, only I don't really have any sort of balloons going on there. <laughs> uh, that's another thing that I wanted to mention is um, the coin counts. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, excuse me, the, the codes, excuse me, why am, I th why am I thinking coin count? Well, if you go to find it... Ah, uh, well, yeah, you're gonna go to the starting point. If you go to find it, uh, you can press the plus button, see at the upper right corner, enter balloon code, and y yeah, you could get find the specific balloon with that code, but it's incredibly impractical because, you know, once the balloon is popped, it's, it's a goner, I do believe so. <laughs> so yeah, you'd have to type this in for every balloon 
Yeah, you, you, j just use this list. I <laughs> just yeah, do do that, okay? Okay. <laughs> There's also one more thing that I want to show with Luigi's Balloon World, but I need to have a different outfit on. I was mentioned that there is a pretty funny, unique dialogue. I mean, I, so, I mean, I, that, it was mentioned. Excuse me, I can't can't speak today. I guess. So what I'm gonna do here is put on a certain familiar uniform. <laughs> Let's see. How this turns out now, all right. So Luigi didn't really have much to say about the racing outfit, but what will he have to say about this? I guess we'll find out soon enough. I wonder if it's. I wonder if I can get to Luigi up there without having to take this flower route. Maybe, maybe I don't know. I'm just having random time-saving travel tips along the way. Oh, okay, what? Another Luigi me? No, no, wait, is that you, bro? Whoa, you, don't, you really threw me for a loop there. Hey, you want to connect in it? Okay. <laughs> and that is Luigi's unique dialogue for this outfit. Let's go to another world now. Actually, I should probably change back to the racing outfit. Aha, I bet you didn't expect that transition. So I'm on the moon for a certain something that you could probably guess that I'll be aiming to skip, namely that moon cave once again. I was told that you cannot actually do the skip unless Sphinx is in his original position. So to get Sphinx in the original position for demonstration purposes, you can either do L Balloon World or Koopa Free Running, but you know, I'll do Koopa Free Running because we got unlimited... Um you know, limited time compared to the 40 seconds of Luigi's Balloon World, so alright. Not actually even doing this race, obviously, it's just me getting Sphinx back into the position to play around with the wall jumps and the whatnot around this corner over here. Can I just, like, land on your head nice and smoothly? Oh, I cannot. <laughs> Somehow I'm in fourth place despite going way off track, but okay. So this is how it's done. Assuming that I can do it. Ready? We're gonna go. Ground pound, hat throw, what? Hat throw, hat bounce, then wall kick off this wall, and then wall kick off the left wall, then dive up to the top. Assuming that I'm going to be able to do this, <laughs> to be able to do this smoothly enough. Come on, I just gotta get the right angle at the wall here so I don't bonk my head into that. Oh, 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 ooh! I almost had it there. Almost. Doesn't cut it though. Okay, ooh! And then we go from there to. Ooh! Almost! I almost touched the spot that I need to touch to get that. Okay, we're gonna go again. Well, well that's not exactly. <laughs> we're gonna go again, I say. There we go. Bounce off that, and then off of... Nope. Didn't quite get it. This is... Trickier than it sounds. <laughs> it's probably something that once you get it, you, you just get it. Actually, I'm gonna try that again. I actually try it... I think I need to be at a more 90 degree angle from the other wall, actually, when I do the first wall kick, so I don't think I'm quite doing that. Oops doing the first wall kick right, because I'm not grabbing onto the wall like I was in practice. So I gotta be like more off of this one, and then off of... Oh! Oh! Something like that! Oh, oh, I didn't quite... Yeah, I lost too much height there, but yeah, that's basically how it's done. Except, you know, better. <laughs> Uh, I can't. Oh, that's right. I can't do dives. I don't just like instinctively dove when diving does not help the cause of shortcuts. Come on. Okay, off this edge and off of this. E oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, I can get this. Ready? First you ground pound, and you just throw your hat, but don't dive at your hat. And then move over to this L shape on the wall, then go over to that side of the wall and wall kick off of that. I didn't quite get the height that I needed on the first hat jump here, let's try it again here. 
Okay, so you go ground pound, hat throw, run into the hat, go to this L shape on the wall, and grip on to- Ah, oh, so close! <laughs> grip on to the left side of the wall, come on now, we can, we can pull this off here. No problem, we're a pro, right? Right? Yeah, we're right. right. Oh, 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 oh! No, no, yeah! And that is how you do the skip. But, you know, I, I took 10 minutes and 47 seconds to... <laughs> Actually, a little bit less, because, it, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't think I saved that much time getting through this cave. I, I need to practice that more if I'm going to speedrun this. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, though. That's okay. We got this. And now, oops, uh, now I'm going to press the wrong button. I'm going to go back to the Odyssey here. And I am going to show you a little something over here. I was told that there's these little dots around here that glow as you 100% the world. See how they're colored for each of the individual's... Uh, the individual kingdom's moons when you 100%. Yeah, that's pretty neat, isn't it? Little extra detail to things here. And also, if you bounce on the globe multiple times, a certain familiar song will play. Yeah! <laughs> And also, um, I never really showed this before, but if you're... See this, this light over here? It blinks every so often, like it's an eye. <laughs> At least it seems to. I don't know if it's like the reflection that makes it seem like it blinks or something, but... I'm, oh, there it is! There it is! I never pointed that out before. <laughs> and anyway... Now I'm going to go back over to the dark side, because I want to clarify some of the hint art that I did here, well, specifically two of the hint art that I did here, um, in that I don't think that I got the hints that they were going for, or at least I didn't explain them well enough. Uh, <laughs> well, okay, one of them I didn't explain well enough, the other one I didn't quite get. So, it's, it's a little bit of both, actually. <laughs> so, um... I guess I will start with the Lost Kingdom one, because I don't actually have to go to the Lost Kingdom to show you that one, uh, to, to explain what I didn't explain before, basically. Um, so, over around... where was the Lost... Man, that's... I don't know. I was gonna say, I don't know, it's like... Okay, there it is. <laughs> I was gonna say, that one looks too light for that. Okay, this one here. You see, uh, I showed you the shadow before, over there at the Lost Kingdom, which is fine and all, but what I forgot to mention was the C4 on there, which represents the map coordinates on, you know, if like if you pause, you go over to here, you know, and then you can see like, one, two, three, four, yeah, it represents these things on the Lost Kingdom map. Whoopsie doodle! <laughs> So I, I didn't uh, I didn't mention that before. The other one is this one over here. Is I didn't interpret this one correctly in general. Like I I was supposed to go from the Takatu like actually travel on by by foot from the Takatu north to the binoculars. Then you go east to the umbrellas and then south to those two poles. All right. So here's our Takatu buddy. We're gonna go straight north. So I was wrong about there not being another set of binoculars over here. There they are, right over there. So yeah, that's that's what those arrows are telling you to do: is to follow the paths straight from the arrows to each different point, so that you know what is exactly the thing that they're talking about. Like, here's two other pillars over here, but they don't have anything in, in between those two. Oh, no, 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 no. So now what you do is you're supposed to go this way over to the umbrellas. <laughs> and of course, the umbrellas are all the way on top of the... Uh, I don't know how that worked, but it worked. <laughs> the umbrellas are, of course, all the way on top of the hot springs. Voila! One, two, three umbrellas. And then you go south from here. And then you arrive 
over at those two posts, which has the moon. And yeah, I didn't interpret that bef the right way before, but somehow I still managed to get it. <laughs> I think it's because the I just probably just ground pounded them on other playthroughs and yeah, like between every two posts that I seen, and then I was like, oh, oh yeah, that's that I, I found that, <laughs> but I but I must have I must have never really like interpreted it correctly. Alas, alas, <laughs> but that's okay. Here is your clarification now. I think I'm gonna go ahead back over to the dark side now for a little bit of brochure reading, if you don't mind. Dark Side of the Moon brochure begins now! I know you must be very excited. Dark Side, remote region, even for the moon, yes! <laughs> Rabbit Ridge, the last word in, a, in dedicated wedding planning. Population unknown, size unknown, locals. Rabbit-ish? <laughs> <laughs> Currency unknown, industry, wedding planning, of course, <laughs> temperature unknown, a salt, sadly inedible, and ined uh, sadly inedible tower, and similarly inedible owner. <laughs> Too sour, a tasty looking tower. The ostentatious stone tower was carved at the direction of the vegetable loving Madame Brood, who lords over Rabbit Ridge. So, yeah, this is kind of the stuff that I explained earlier about the lore, but, well. Here you go. I'm giving, giving you it in full now. Her underlings, the Brutals, live within and always have a warm welcome for visitors. Poise under pressure. <laughs> Topper, client relations. Responsible for client relations on behalf of the Brutals wedding planning firm, Topper is usually found on-site troubleshooting. You can tell how serious he is about a battle by the number of hats he has stacked up on his head. He doesn't tap into his full hat reserves, except for the most most dangerous opponents. <laughs> so he sees Mario as a worthy opponent. So if you square off with him and you, he seems to be mostly hat, then you, you should feel honored and afraid. <laughs> One last door. For those travelers who survive the hospitality, hos pff, hospitality of the Brutals, a new challenge may await. Sort of new, but yet sort of not. <laughs> Rango the Bouncer. He's not the most focused, but Rango is a valuable player on the Brutals team, always coming through in the end. A master of his, of his boomeranging trampoline hat, he can throw it both straight and curved with almost unnatural control over the way it flies. On the other hand, he sometimes zones out a bit and looks confused. <laughs> That's your chance to attack! The best handler on the team. <laughs> Harriet, pyrotechnics. The least predictable of the Brutals. Harriet is most often found throwing bombs with her hair. When her homemade bombs explode, they leave a pool of fire on the ground, so try knocking them away before they explode. I kind of showed that strategy. While it may seem reckless to have her have filled her hat with bombs, Harriet is devious and keeps a lot of spare explosives with her. So watch out! It's best not to get her mad. Ah, I beat her relatively easily for the most part. Spewer, the entertainer. <laughs> Spinning around while spitting poison in a wide area, Spewart is the least subtle of the Brutals, but he also has an unexpectedly artistic side, as his poisonous ground painting show. <laughs> is the vulgarity all an act? Could he be the next Michelangelo? Perhaps. Three Kings City Kingdom. Watch out for the moon's light gravity. You could still die falling off a cliff. Investigate behind all those stone carved vegetables. Greet all four! of the keys to this kingdom. You know who they are. Get it? Get it for Brutals? Ah, ah, ah. And I guess technically all four of them together here in the Robo Brood boss. This of course is made by the crazy Caps co Cap Company, as you would expect, as usual, with all the other brochures. All right. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I maybe... Probably, unless I think of more stuff, finish the walkthrough.